All right, let's do a vote review. Let's do a vote review of the third map between uh, Ascend and NIP. Let's take a look at the builds. Both have Astra. Both have a Sky. Uh, both have Sova. And those are the differences. Sorry, those are the main common spots. Then we have Sage and uh, Rays, while Ascend has Viper and Jet. So basically, there's no Brimstone in the lineup from uh, from Ascend. They changed that, but in general, this is still a post line a post post lineup um, post lineup build because you want to play the Viper for post lineups, right? Typically. Or the Sova. Uh, it's, it's, I had I had a big problem with this uh, kind of composition because I in this kind of composition I always liked raise more, uh, raise more than than a jet. But we'll see. Okay, what's the first round? Pistol round. Uh, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. How does the pistol round look? Two people pushing hookah. Uh, even though they know there's a star here which can be activated any time which i find a little bit odd i guess uh, it, it's so hard to look at the minimap look we don't know which stars are which there's a smoke activated here the viper wall like, goes like this here in front of hookah uh which is for defense i guess i guess what will happen is that if there will be a contact like this is the viper wall if there's a contact from from the guys approaching hookah then they will basically pop up the wall to not have a trade after like a first kill. Let's see how that goes. You'll be seeing how this goes down. Teenet oh, they activated the wall. Okay, so they're pushing the wall. Stun goes here. And the attack is like t typical default. Like two guys showers. Look, two guys showers. This guy holding mid. One guy long, one guy in front of hookah. So nothing spectacular thing, just just a good default by the attackers and a push by uh, from Hookah. But this is important. Like, see see how Caldamenta look. Caldamenta knew that two of his teammates died in in Hookah, and he cannot just basically defend side himself. So that he has two options, right? He either goes to CT and plays from here, or he pushes to mid to get more info for his teammates and map control. So this is why he pushed him, uh, this on mid. So he went for the map control. Unfortunately, he loses the duel, and that's a problem. Because now it's 2v3, and they know B is entirely open. This is why they do a rotation for CT, which is a good uh, good call. But it, it's going to be so tough for them. So tough for them. Especially after like being 13 HP with this. Kitty's already pushed. Chihuahua went to elbow. Yeah, it's, it's done. Lul. Hello, Jusavi. Hello, Kursaki. Hello, Kaspirik. Okay. So nothing spectacular happening so far. But yeah, now what do we have here? Uh, Ascend with a full eco apart on CNET who bought a Deagle, I mean a Sheriff. And then we have an IP with two Spectres, two Ghosts and one Vandal. On Chihuahua, and Chihuahua is going showers with uh, with Sky. Hey, I like how they. F oh, <laughs> I, I wanted to say that they. Okay, this is this is interesting. Look. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this shit. Wait. Here we go. Look at this shit. You know why they died? I'll tell you why. Where's this? No, 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 no. Okay. So basically, Sky, you will see that Sky will use her uh, bird to check if someone is in showers. But they take such a long time to actually take the orb, and um, who had, who had, uh, Chihuahua will take a very, very wide angle to peek it. And to check when, uh, if someone is speaking that showers again, when uh, existence is still taking the orb, like it makes no sense. Look, look, 
I don't even see it. Look, they're approaching the see? This is the this is the bird. The hawk when they didn't like they're not even close to showers yet. So they check it. This is the moment it, it blinks, right? And they still go on shift. Look. See? It took such a long time that he's not ready for the peak. While Chihuahua is taking a very wide angle. So he he's basically alone here. Like, in my opinion, if if you want to go for the orb control, which is a very good move because you're the sky and want to farm those orbs, right? If you use the, the bird, they already know you're here. They already know that you will gonna get the orb and you will make noise with the orb. If you go for the bird, it doesn't get anything. You just run to get the orb as soon as possible. You don't shift because they already know you're here, you know? Fortunately, existence just gets a double kill because otherwise, if they would have lost Akukos here as well, it was two versus one, right? Remember, it would have been so tough. Well, never mind. You got a shock dart kill. But it's still tough. Like, they lost the Vandal, right? Korea had to pick it up now. He's at 34 HP. Your Viper pl you're playing Viper on Ascent, Defense, or A or B? Both, my friend. Doesn't matter for me. You need to be... Oh, there's a barrel. You need to know uh, every single site, you know, to play. I feel like the, just the play that uh, NIP did in showers was very lazy, you know? Like, it was... It's okay on paper, right? But it just makes... Not much sense when you think about it. Small things, you know? Alright. Uh, let's see what this is. The Viper world is still the same. So basically what it... Uh, I'm not sure where, where is the smoke of Viper. Uh, the toxic cloud. I, I'm not sure where it is. But uh, this, is, this is what Viper does on defense. She puts the wall here, right? Uh, so what it does... It only creates two things. Uh for for the defenders it closes the gap in before the teleporter and it it puts a wall in front of even hookah right so it's a good wall but when you think about it the only purpose is like the first tempo ent uh, entry from uh from from the attackers it doesn't really help with anything else it doesn't help with uh with retakes it doesn't help with uh with any other situation right but it, it, because of that, by the way, because of this wall, if this wall is up, you have to expect one guy being here in hookah because he has to benefit from the wall. Otherwise, it's pointless, right? The wall is pointless if no one is watching someone exiting the wall. So I'm not sure if I like this wall, especially since I don't know where the smoke is from the Viper. I would guess that she still has it. No, wait, she used it. it we're, we're missing it. I don't know where it is. I don't think it's on mid here because there's smoke, but that, that might be an asterisk. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, we see it. Okay, here it is. So we're just an aggressive smoke uh, for showers. Okay. But it's... Um... It's odd to see existence just being alone in showers pushing through a snake bite and a and a toxin cloud. I guess that was because he knows he's on a bonus round. Actually, they're not on a bonus round. They're gonna be broke after this round, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. Anyway, two guys already on site. It, it's such a different game because there's no cipher, no killjoy from both sides. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> Very simple. Hello, Shima. Nice headshot. I mean, Ascend is, is losing this heavily already, you know? Uh, they had a 5v4. 
had a 5v4 and they couldn't stop like the attack on site uh which is i i guess a bit of problematic because of the fact that you don't don't run a uh, cypher or killjoy right you have to like fight for the sites or play retakes with sova uh, which is a big problem uh, this is why you see like people die on site right and the quality is so bad right the bitrate is actually lower than my own uh, stream man again the same wall they play Bucky's. Remember, this is the patch of the ultra OP Bucky's, right? So it might actually look a little bit different. And what what is the on attack? On attack, NIP is just doing defaults. This time they're not going through the through the showers because they know this is there's the toxic cloud, which is a good play by Achilles and um, and Coldamenta because they know that NIP is going for showers control to get that orb. So basically. Uh, the Viper is, is pushed to use this wall because the Toxic Cloud has to be used in showers to stop them from taking orb control. Which is a big thing, right? Orb control for existence is, is a big thing. Wow, what a kill by Rhyme. What the hell? That's insane. Double Satchel on site. Very nice, by the way. Very nice. By, like, this is something I really like. Look. When he does the, the double Satchels, right? I'll show you something. Look, he's not using it from the from the top, which is very important for something that I will point out in a, in a second. So what what this achieves, right? He limits uh, the height of his flight, which is very important because because of that, it's harder for his opponents to adjust because you have less airtime, and because of that, you're faster to shoot. Look, see, it's so. It's so low, but he's so fast. He just goes boop, boop. It's, it's super important to have that speed and that level of flight because it's so hard for the opponents to, to uh, like adjust to it. You don't have to fly super high because it's actually detrimental for you. So very good double satchels. He didn't destroy the... He didn't destroy, the uh, by the way, the Hawk. Because the hog going out of CT is very open. Even if it flashes someone, he's not sure, his opponent will not be sure if someone is right, left, hooker, on top of side or, so, or something like that. What is this? Look at this. Four stars in showers. I'm not certain if those are four stars from one Astra or multiple stars from multiple Astras. Like, this is something they have to fix. Like, this can be a smoke tunnel. Who the fuck knows? But we do we have a default? It's like semi-default. The A short is completely open for attackers. So, But I don't think that Ascent will just push here uh, because of the Viper wall, right? So this is like a guess by NIP. And they just go here as an attack. Split, split B. But uh, this is interesting. Chihuahua is alone, right? Uh, so he, they have no, they have no recon uh, power on B, but that can pretty well fake that they're going A. Oh, different wall, different wall from Achilles. Um, so he used, he used a wall like this. Interesting. Because he ulted on site. So why the, why the wall here? I'm not sure I understand this. Because he ulted on site. It's in front of Hookah. The, the ultimate is in front of Hookah as well. For me, that's kind of odd. Maybe maybe I'm missing something. Uh, because... If you ult... On one side, you typically want to help with your other, other, other parts of your utility on the other side. Because you can still activate it, right? I guess what I can see Hello? is he wants to have like a rescue uh, wall for himself inside of the ultimate in case he gets a one kill and then hides behind the ultimate, uh, behind the wall. So he's not easily visible. Nah, that makes no sense. I'm not sure, actually. I don't like this, to be honest. Maybe I'm missing something. 
the Fallout Round started there. There was literally six Astral Stars in showers, I'm pretty sure. And so there's a Toxic Cloud in front of the ultimate, which I like because it increases the tunnel of the ultimate. So basically everyone who wants to go, this is very, very crucial for the attackers to understand. If they want to go through here on site, they are one HP. Like there's literally no way of going through this and not being one HP. So I'm not, in case of NAP, I would just spam through here, maybe hit the Viper with a very lucky shot, right? And then just go A. This is, this is why you see an aggressive shower control by Ascend here, because they know that their opponents will not push through here. They can only attack through Hookah, A short. And if they get, went B, they're going to go teleport and go into showers. So this is why, this is why there's such a, such a heavy control of showers. Do they have, wait, 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 they, no, they don't have the uh, Sky Ultimate. If they would have the Sky Ultimate, I guess they could go through, uh, through the Viper Ultimate. But Existence just pushed, did he? No, never mind. Wait, he does. He's just pushing through the Ultimate, okay. Okay, wow, the balls on this guy. And look, look at Achilles, after the flash, he just went back. So he basically forgave, like, the entire... So this is something I don't understand. He had the opportunity to pop up the wall, right? To play against uh, these. So this is something that might be why the wall is inside of the, the ultimate right here. Because if he puts up the wall, the sky flash doesn't flash him. But I don't know. Okay, that's nuts. Yeah, but... <laughs> I feel like this is a um, lack of discipline on, on, on NIP here. Pushing through a Viper ultimate without having Sova. You have a Sova, right? He still has the drone. And at least he had it before. Nice seen it. They could have used the Sova to go for the Viper ultimate, right? And kill, try to kill the Viper because you just go recon arrow and, burp, and just go through. Oh. Wow. Wow. Just a spray on this range, man. Like, I'm not sure I understand why people on pro level just try to push for the Viper Ultimate. You don't have to do that, right? You can try to, like, use the uh, utility first and then go push through. Existence did that, right? But he was alone. There was no one else following up very close. You can see that they were just so detached. Existence was pushing for the ultimate, and the second player was Race, but he had to use double satchels to like come to existence after he goes first. Alright, so wait, there's a small change up here. Uh the smoke cloud is in front of Huka this time. And the wall is like this. Look at this. So it basically stops. Um, interesting. This is this is interesting. So basically, what what this wall achieves here, right here, um, it stops people from pushing to garden without uh without having like you know good informations, right? Because if they stand here, they will not be able to see this side of sight. So if the defenders are standing here, you know they have a first contact on someone crossing the wall, and he's at one hundred HP, so he's it's easier to kill. Hello, Shamsan. Yeah, it's fake smoke. <laughs> Good combo of uh, suck and ultimate from Goldamenta, but it didn't hit anyone. I mean, sorry, it, it hit actually existence. So that's a hell of a kill for two hours to find. Of course, that was on the cooldown of Ela's. Wait, we can actually use. Oh my god, dude, what I. Oh no. Carry on. <sighs> I'm mad at myself. Look, he's land proven, don't worry. You can't even question. 
Yeah. For a yeah. I'm mad at myself. Here, here we go. That's this round. I wanted to change the speed of the round. Oh, wait. This will help. I'm not sure if that was on the cooldown of Ela's wall, but on the back of this, NIP actually going to swing back over towards A site. Bone Cold now goes to touch in a very deep position. Whether or not he gets cleared by this, he has to. Yeah, he got cleared. Interesting that no one followed, followed it up. Wow. Actually, we can't really appreciate any 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 shots. Let's go back to normal speed. So, as you can see here, we have a push by Kiddies because he knows he has to close like map control when they're just splitting A. He goes like wide, but he still was shifting because he was worried that someone is still still his market. But now he has to like push very fast. Wow. Yeah, but you can't really do much when your when your teammates are just dying like this. Ah, unfortunate timing for Achilles, man. Such an unfortunate timing. Him being faster by like half a second would probably give him two kills and had chance at retaking this because it would have been a two-two, two versus two. L and J. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, one frame? One second? Half a second? No, ten seconds. Okay. Again, the same wall. Default attack by NIP, as usual. Everyone is uh, split apart. I, I, the, the reason why, why they play like this, why NIP plays default so much on bind, is because Ascend likes to just push. So they get a lot of information by doing that. So they don't do your typical splits. And they also like Cypher Killjoy to have map control where they focus like on a, on a split, you know? I mean, like if if they go 3-2 on a site, then they basically lose the map control of the entire other side of the map. So they have no information whatsoever, right? Which is a problem because you, you don't have a... Ooh! That jiggle peek could have cost him, man. Like one hit from any pistol, and he's dead, man. Because he stopped in his track. So he was spotted because this guy, you know, goes bonk, and and there's info someone's shower. So they now go five, five a short. Which I kind of like because of the low buy here, you know? So they don't want to lose any guns uh, to their opponents without having a retaliation, which is a very good uh, choice. Yeah. Good play by NIP. Good call to just not split anything. They, were, they started as a default to see if someone's pushing, right? And he gets 6 out of 7, by the way. After this round, because he found eco eco kills, which is amazing. I mean, not eco exactly, like low buy kills, right? This is very worth for NIP. He used this ultimate, right, last round, and he has again his ultimate if he gets the orb next round, which is nuts, right? This is nuts. They allowed to for rhyme to get to farm the kills, which is insane. I prefer Chihuahua playing Cypher. I think he's the best EU Cypher. The problem is, uh, they need Sova. <laughs> they need Sova. They will have to like not play uh, Sky. It's hard to say. Like this, this kind of uh, this kind of lineup just just ca can't play uh, Cypher. If they would be playing a Sentinel, it would have to be Killjoy. So she falls into the category of host plants. I mean, I mean, that shit will happen. They're back to the defense wall like this. I don't know. I, I don't like those walls, man. But that's that's me. Bonkel just goes in and kills them, guy. It's nothing to analyze in situations like this. It's just, okay, he, he knows the info, right? He knows where someone is and just takes the risk on a duel. And that's it. There's no, like, 200 IQ move or something. It's just... 
confidence. So it's four versus four, which is still beneficial for the attackers. As you can see, look, 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 look. This is this is why I always say, when when it's a one for one trade, it always benefits the attackers because now four attackers are attacking two defenders on one side, while the other side is also two. So unless the defenders stack one side and play the retake, right, to go back. Your attack will always be four versus two, which is beneficial for the attackers because it's so hard to stop them. You don't have the risk of playing like four versus three on one side because you know the defenders are gonna go two two or four zero. Catching the cross play out from Hooker, but finally could be a huge factor. Good flash on back to their influence. All needs to go for he can't. Chihuahua comes. Did he have just zero bullets in his clip? I think so. Nice call. Nice aggressive call by Ascend. But both Stuxo and Bonkol just whiffed. Guild versus Alain had more cool things. Asan just seen it goes burr if they if he doesn't they lose. Not exactly, but the reason why I want to watch this bind is because I want to see how much possible and Viper we're gonna see, right? And how is being that played? Again, a default attack setup. The wall is different. It's it cut off showers and mid A, which is odd. I don't know. Like it, the only reason for that wall is to just negate shower control, but then for the defenders, it's actually not beneficial. <laughs> like this is not be really beneficial. Rhyme farming just kills, man. So next, next round, next round. Oh, next round he's just gonna go, or even this round he's just gonna go with the showstopper, and that's it. But but look at this. Look, this round would have been already over if Cena just didn't get a double kill. But it's still probably over, right? Because they have look look on NIP how much map control they have. Like they they know the jet was on A. Um, this is being hold. They didn't. They didn't hear a teleporter. So the only way that Cnet can come to them is through here, or through here, and that's it. So they, but I find it odd that they still hold it one with one player. Like I don't understand this. This hold. This hold is really weird. Okay, but the off angle, and now I understand why. So Rhyme was holding an off angle, something that no one expects. Like seeing it going through here will probably be sh still shifting. So Rhyme sees him first. He doesn't get the kill and instantly goes back, which is a very good call. So this is why they were so split. Because Rhyme knew that he's going to get the info first because he's playing off angle. And if he doesn't kill, he just goes back. See? And now they have a double... Now they have two the double um, double defenses, and that's just almost impossible for Cena to swing. And he's still got the damage from from the nade. He has no dash. Yeah, that, that's that's just not doable. Even if Rhyme would have died here, Starks swings from the other side, crossfire set up, and blah. Yeah, I agree, Shingen. The the wolf. On site, this is why I said the, the w attack wall is actually uh, sorry, the, the, the viper wall is actually beneficial for the attackers on site, not in showers, but on site it was beneficial. All right, what do we have here? Hmm. Four ultimates from Ascend, they have to use them. So, where's Killies? Achilles is on A. Will he use his ultimate? He can't just hold it for for retakes. This is why I feel like if you are playing Viper, right, you have to utilize your your um your key pieces of utility very well, 
Like, you, you, you guys remember my solo queue setup, right? Solo queue. So it's definitely not something that, you know, it's it's fantastic. But I feel like for, if it works for a solo queue, it works for a pro play as well. The wall here, right? One-way showers, ultimate A-short. Entire map is covered, right? Entire map is covered, and you can help still on B. Your guy just keeps holding showers with a one-way, and you have to be cleared with heavy utility um, to go for your ultimate. So I feel like that's one of the setups that you can do to help your teammates so much. But Killies just holds onto the ultimate. I think. Does he? Yeah. No, nothing being used. Oh, he used it. He used it on showers. Look. He used it on showers. So that's that's something I don't. I see, I see this being played by by pro level vipers so much, and I don't really understand, because showers is not something that people typically like push with more than three, unless they went for the teleport. So it's like one player lurking from showers, maybe two, and that's about it, right? And when the most people just go with the bomb through a short. So this is the this is the clutch point that you need to like take control of. While the showers can be easily controlled with just one smoke, which is not happening here. So I find this a little bit odd, especially since look, another thing, right? If you if you ultimate this choke point, it's such a such a long long way of your opponents having to go through this, so they ne they always exit at 1 HP, so they cannot get to lamps, it's so hard, right? The only thing that can happen is like a jet dashing through the two lamps, but they don't have a jet, so the only thing that can happen is rhyme double satcheling, which is not really that good, right? When you compare it to jet. And then... It, 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 it's still weird, because Achilles has to, like, hold it from here, he cannot be deep showers, because he has to help uh bone cold in case someone goes through a short Having the opportunity to. and nip should just fuck off from here like don't go for the for the ultimate but in the meantime this happens and you can't really do anything jd just loses his life The program this? I don't know. I this is called I don't know how even web paint. I just installed something for Chrome to, to just paint. And that's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shit like this will happen. Completely fresh approach. Look at these sides. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. I mean, if you if you know that it's an operator and you just shift walk through garden, you're just asking to be killed. Especially since Rhyme had a second satchel. Look, look, he knows, he knows there's an operator, right? And yet, we see Rhyme just shifting through Garden. Like, that's... That's not something that should happen. If he wanted to go through it, there's a second satchel he has. He can just go boop. And go on site. Aggressive peak from CNET. I guess he he just went like, okay, I guess I need to be aggressive to win the rounds. Ooh. That ultimate. That ultimate is stacked in one way. Wow, 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 look at this. Look at this shit. That's so, that's what, okay, two things. Okay, this was hilarious, but I'll explain in a moment. So, when we see this investment, uh, sorry. When we see the, see this investment from, from existence, with his ultimate through here, 
it's almost 100% that all of the three jellyfishes will go through showers. So it's so easy for one person to destroy all three. I don't like this. If you want to use your ultimate, don't use it from showers. Just use it from even a short, like from here. Because then you have a spread information of what's happening. Like even one can go through here, you know? So I, I don't like this ultimate from Akukos. This is like, see? See this? See this? This is really bad. This makes this ultimate practically useless. It just... It, how many bullets is this? Like, let's take a look. 25, right? Five bullets to destroy all. Five bullets to destroy the entire ultimate. It's pointless, right? And there's no follow-up. There was no one followed up. So the only, only thing that it does, it gives info that there's one guy here. Because they heard the shots. And this is why we're going to see Rhyme push with the showstopper. But it's going to be hilarious. Look at it. Look, look what will happen. He got flashed. So he got pushed out of showers. So he has to be on bench. And this is where uh, where Rhyme pushes in on site. Right? Look. He goes in. He goes in. He's on site. The showstopper is used. He knows the guy is here. And... <laughs> Look at this. Saki Saki. Watch out. Completely. Boop. And the Saki Saki saves Killies from the showstopper. Whose Saki Saki was that? Was that attackers or defenders? I don't know. Whose wall is this? I think this is attackers, right? Yeah. It's not defenders. It's, atta it's attackers. So Korea... Uh, Korea does this. Eh. Oh, there are two Astros here. Shingen. Uh, so the wall is uh, very, very similar to what we see what we see from the viper being used on attack right it just puts a wall to have a plan this is like a sage wall basically here not really complicated hello chameleon oh what a timing man oh chihuahua is mad what did i just witness and this is something i don't i don't like when people are just holding the astro wall right look Oh, uh, here we go. Man, the quality of so bad. Look, there's planter here, one guy here, one guy here. And the wall goes like this, right? So they can be swung so hard. They can be swung so hard, and nothing here is a good angle for people holding someone swinging from the wall. Let's see. This is important. The recon arrow allows them to push the wall, right? Because they know about this guy. But still, it's it's not his fault. This guy should never actually hide. This guy should never actually hide. He should be just standing here. Even when there's this recon arrow. He should be standing here and checking the wall. JD has a crossfire for him, right? This guy should never hide. I'm not sure what happened here that he that he did hide. But look at this. Like this this flick here, that should never happen. Uh Korea should have this kill, which is unfortunate. Made a mistake, did no bones but yeah, but the thing is Rhyme ha did hide for no reason, you know? They had to hold the wall. I'm not a fan of that wall from from uh, from Astra, to be honest. Like, you want to limit the amount of possibilities of your opponent swinging. This is why I think the walls should be completely different than this, you know?
they can close this out. Eight four would be a, I mean, a miracle considering how this round, this half has gone. Stun on CNET. No peak. They're still trying to get shower control, even with that, even with that toxic cloud being placed like half of the times there. Not something I understand, to be honest. It it requires so much resources. Like I feel like NIP should already adjust and just leave the showers alone. There's a one-way setup here, right? There's a one-way here. Um, so the toxic cloud is put on, on the bottom, which I like, by the way. I don't like the one-way from uh, from the Viper here anymore because the toxic cloud is just so much more effective when people have to go through it. So you're going to see less one-ways with Viper, but more one-ways with Astra in general. I think Rhyme got shocked at it, that's why he moved. Maybe. Maybe I missed that. Happy to sit back now. We'll see us a couple of times when they lose out on the first blood. Oh my. Just waiting out the utility. Still fighting for the off control. The it, Will they take it? Going forward, gonna get... They did take it. JD now has an ultimate. Okay, this is why they did it. Okay, good choice. Good choice. Like they had to do it. That's this. This is why they double down on the shower control. And I understand that now. Rhyme is already boosted on the box where the one way was. Oh my! What? What? I mean, they had no time, but this is. It's like a <laughs> yeah, no time, no time. But still, like, why only one person, right? If you bunny hop for that, first of all, you can't you can't allow the timer to just run off, right? That's one. And even if it does, then they need to push as mass, right? Not just one guy bunny hopping through snake bite. Like they, they it needs to be like three people or two at least. So the guy with the operator doesn't have a chance to just readjust. But yeah, okay. Alright, so this is the attack of Ascent, alright? So their plan is, take side control, plant, fuck off. Because they want to play for post-plant keys. Default attack on pistols. The Viper wall and attack goes like this. It's a good wall. If I'm not mistaken, you have enough en enough uh, space to hide behind the wall here if you, in case you want to play a lineup from here, which is very good because if someone goes through market, uh, he will not see you behind the wall. If I'm not mistaken, at least, it should be enough space. This is something I do when I do a wall like this. You know, sorry, not like this, like this. When I cut off elbow, but I still have space here to play for my lineup, Without um, without being envisioned from garden. World of showers. I don't. I'm not sure, certain if they took the orb. I don't think so. So it's a split B, and Cold Amanta plays shower control. He will see the the wall, and he's gonna probably fall back in a moment. Will he? Now he goes for the orb, I guess. So Coldament is checking if someone is on the on the wall here. They faked the B rush, right? It didn't trigger any rotations. There's still 3A, 2B. There's the wolf being used to check. So they know it's just a fake. Uh, wait, what? They know it's a fake, but yet there's a rotation here. I'm not certain what's happening here. Okay, he's just playing. He's just playing on on spawn for the first contact, and he goes back. Okay. Rhyme went for the nade to stop the Sova from droning, but he he missed. That was a good good a good plan. All right, so now, like there's no info. 
Defenders have no info apart from the one Sova here. They didn't see anyone else for a very long time. So they have to play like practically like the beginning of the round, right? And they lost the Sage Wall. They lost uh, the Wolf. They lost one, one, um, they lost basically everything apart from this one star here and one star here. So now let's see what Kriya will do, will do when he gets breached in Hookah. My guess is a stun or even maybe a smoke because the, he only plays alone. There's no one to back him up. He would have used the Saki Saki if he would have been holding with someone else this angle. That would be my guess. What? He actually goes for the pull. Madman. What? Okay, so why? Why I think this is a mistake. He's holding it alone, right? He doesn't know how many people are in the hookah. And if he pulls like three people or even two, you have no way, like absolutely no, no way of surviving that since they white peak because you pulled them in. Right, so they basically like Ferrari Porsche peak because they pulled in. There's no debuff before the explosion of the of that pull, right? So basically, you have no advantage, and those two people just gun you down, and you're alone. Like I, I really hated that Saki Saki. All right, what, what's the setup here? The wall is up, so they have no idea what's happening here. The, the defenders, I mean. The defenders have no idea what's happening here. They saw one person in the hookah. They have no clue if someone is here. Still lacking information. So they're just, they're, they're just rotating to B because that, that's the guess. You know? We're going to see Chihuahua go for the, um, for the recon arrow for a retake, I guess. Because they still have side control. So he's just waiting with this arrow. Inside. Yeah, he's waiting with the arrow. Still, see, still waiting, still waiting. That... Okay, so he went for the arrow now because of the smoke. The smoke triggers something that many pro players use. So this smoke here allows CNET to just dash in on site and just sit here. Something I personally hate. So he's going to be standing here. That's a jet. <laughs> he's just going to be standing in the smoke for four seconds or like three. Or maybe use the second smoke here, which makes the defenders very uneasy because... They're going to have to fight people jumping from hookah, right? And this guy will not peek before something happens. So he's just standing here and, do, and he will do nothing unless he will hear shots from the defenders. Ah. He just didn't go for the dash. <laughs> but typically that's what happens. But look, look at this. Look at the balls of this guy. <laughs> Stocks just went by. <laughs> Stocks just went by with the... Okay, too funny, man. Okay, okay. So, existence with the... With the fla pop flash goes out of a smoke. Wait, whose smoke is this? So this is Starksos. So, red is uh, Ascend, right? Yeah, red is ascent. Okay. So this is defender smoke, right? This is Kriya smoke. Man, it's so hard to say. Right. So he gets flashed. Starks is just is like, hey bro, hey bro, you flash for four seconds. I'm just gonna kill you. Just I'm gonna go here first. Right. He's like, hello. Then he kills Kriya. And who the fuck made this smoke? Existence is standing in a smoke or elbow. But whose smoke is this? I don't know. Has to be attackers. Has to be from Ascend. Yeah, okay, so this is attackers. This is attackers smoke. This is attackers smoke. Um, because it ends here. On the line of elbow. So this is attackers for sure. Because it doesn't benefit the defenders. So he goes for the pop flash. He flashed too. And now he has a problem. Because he has a pistol. So 750 milliseconds to kill someone. He has to kill Astra first. This guy. Fuck him. He will just hide here. So he has to focus on us. Uh, on on, on, uh, on Starkso. 
Okay then. But you can see that at some point the jet is at this point and uh, is standing on top of sight anyway. We probably we we'll probably have seen the dash smoke dash combination at some point. Oh my god, rhyme with the biggest balls I have ever seen. He just went through the snake bite. This this was a very chaotic, very, very chaotic pistol round. But the MVPs of this round was basically flashes from uh, from Sky. Starks are opening uh, and killing Kriya was the most important. The wall again like this. This is the decider map, by the way, between NIP and Ascent. Taking that back. Fake smoke, by the way. Very good tactic in general. The wolf gets no info. Rhyme, uh, NIP is playing three sheriffs and they got one kill right now on A short, which is nuts. Nuts. I'm telling you, nuts. Seen it dead. This is... I, I don't really like this, you know? Like, they just challenged a short for no reason. When uh, Sinner was basically alone, there was no trade. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Feels strange, but okay. Like, look, look. Let's talk about it, okay? Look. Look at this shit. Sinner is just standing on a short. Remember, it's after a pistol round. And he has a vandal. He's alone. And look, he's just getting demolished. And they lose a Vandal. Imagine if he was actually a little bit closer. JD could have even picked it up. Actually, JD probably should just push in and wall this up, take the gun fuck off. But he has no info if someone is here or here. But my guess, my guess would be, yes, they should, there should be someone because why would someone with a Vandal be alone on a short, right? But there's no one here. Look. There's no one here to help seen it. Like this is this is something that we see a lot from players that are very confident, but then they fuck up like this, and it puts a dent in the entire plan. See, now they have to rotate, take the gun because otherwise they just give the vi uh, the 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 vandal to someone else. Why I'm not playing in G2 Valorant team? Because I'm not a pro player in Valorant, my friend. Oh, I was actually pretty close. Still, still, look at this. Three versus two. And he gets a weapon. Chihuahua now gets a weapon because he goes he goes to market. This is so insane for NIP. He didn't see him. But there's the snake bite to stop any push. But he gets pushed anyway. Oh no. Oh my god, they're getting bailed out. So I understand why they had a positioning like this. But unfortunately, it just got ignored. Hello, Marco. I love that though. Just on the off charge, the Kushal did manage to catch. Fortunate timing through. Volley comes through to stop that push. 46 HP now, a classic in hand. There and difficult for him to find a way back onto this. That was a very high chance of actually winning this round. He still lost the Vandal, by the way. Not given the opportunity to try and save the weapon at all either. The Vandal. <laughs> Bullets. Zero bullets. No way. No way. No way. And this is all. This is all because of CNED's ego pick. Ego peak. 
ego peak from CNET froze the entire round. They won it, but at what cost? They lost everything. They have to buy back while NIP is just like, <laughs> we, we farmed five orbs and we got a Vandal. Like, what the hell? If this would be a solo queue, I would have been so mad at the jet. I would have been so mad at the jet, man. This is like the typical solo queue mistake. All right, I mean, still, default attack, right? They're on equal footing right now. They have five rifles, five rifles. But attackers have shit economy because they lost the bonus round. Um, What is happening? Viper wall, three times the same now for the attack. Um, Sage wall in the hookah. No one is holding garden. So I like this setup because they're able to help each other in the hookah. Uh, and it probably gives them enough time to battle Hookah, maybe win, and then uh, basically fight the people that are on site from Hookah, or even not not do that, and just wait for the rotations, and give info to the rotators that someone can be elbow. So, I like this setup. And on A, what do we have here? Very standard. Like, nothing really outstanding here. We have that slower kind of play towards Hookah, at least for JD. He's going to get in a pretty decent angle. Gonna lock that down. Let's see how patient me and Pia are gonna be with this. Woof woof. Goes for hookah. Two guys. He saw two guys, right? Another thing. Lock that down. Uh, if someone doesn't understand the difference between a vandal and a phantom, this is a good occasion to explain this. Look, the wolf is nearsighted, right? It's basically like being in paranoia or in a smoke. He only sees Sova here, right? He doesn't see Kiddies. Because it's it's outside of his range. But the moment uh, Kitty starts shooting, there's a flash of the Vandal. If that would have been a Phantom or something that has a suppressor, that would have been not visible. <laughs> Seen it goes through. Look, seen it again. Tries to take solely control of A short. This is so risky. This is so risky. Chihuahua would not pick this. Like, there's no way in chance unless he's unpatient. Because the reason why he's standing here is because he his role is to hold co uh, contact. His role is to hold contact. When he gets contact, that means people are out. They're next to the star. And that's the moment where the guy from Lamp speaks. So he cannot die. He's instrumental to this round. He needs to hold this angle. He cannot go for this angle. Because if he does that and dies, everything falls apart. Everything falls apart. The Lamps guy is useless. Uh, the triple boxes guy is useless as well. Ah, he's getting small. Ah! <laughs> so now he's hiding behind the wall. He went through it. Oh. Oh. So he peeked only because he knew that he, that CNET got flashed and he was stuck here. So the jet was just like, I'm blind. I'm blind. You know, this was, this is CNET. This is why he peeked. And then he hide again. So good, conf uh, good patient play from uh, from Chihuahua. What happened? Where Cena died? What? How does he die? What? Cena has seventeen HP. When does he? What? Why does he have seventeen HP? Ah, he gets tagged here. Okay. He dashes away. He's at seventeen HP. This is the attacking Astra wall to cut off um, to cut off the two players here, which is a decent plan. 
And now there's a grenade coming on A short and it will just kill CNET. I don't know, man. Wait, 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 wait. This is gonna, this is gonna be odd. Wait. This is gonna be odd. Rhyme is still holding. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually behind the wall. So he's gonna hear the plants with ease. He has full info. There's like a spot for him to hide in, in a corner. So he will hear everything. So basically this wall has no purpose of on sound dampening right now. Yeah, see? Look at this. He's actually... This is the wall here. And he's standing on the left side. So he hears everything. He knows there's a plant going next to showers. It's not on, not, not on A. So he can give that info. See? <laughs> he still cannot push for this. Uh, so one thing I don't like about Bonkold... Look. Bonkold is standing here, right? This is bone cold. But if Rhyme, for some reason, would have the biggest balls in the universe and went like this, sharp left, he would have killed bone cold. But what bone cold can do, he can stand here on this spot. Right? He can stand on this spot and he can body block the peak and you cannot shoot through here. So he should be standing two steps to the right. If he wants to be certain to not be uh, of not being killed, but I like how Staxo is holding this, right? Because that allows um, that allows to have additional cover. So I like this. But Staxo, though, look at Staxo's position on the minimap. He has a good angle to hold this peak. But if someone peeks from from elbow, then Staxo is dead. But Staxo is being held by Sova and by uh, so Staxo is being held by Sova called the Menta here. And by uh, and by Bonkold, but he's still probably dead. They're just gonna have a trade. So weird with these smoke grenades, the way it's provided with these walls. Rhyme, just trying to wait on the other side. And now they fuck off. This is the difference with There's a plant. Achilles goes for a, for a lineup, I guess. Okay, James just swings on that though. But look, oh my god, look, oh my god. Okay, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be complaining now. Okay. Look where Killy is for the lineup. It's so far away. And they already have, like, they already have the diffuse. From this spot till this lens, they will probably even have the entire diffuse. This is why I think post lineups are just better if you use them from showers, right? Because you can just bounce it from the wall. You're like it's planted for you. You don't have to do a lineup, or you can even do a lineup from here, which saves you like three seconds, right? Still has both yeah, they have half. Look at this. Look at this. So early, so yeah. Even Rhyme's just this one. See? Soon, will find a it's like that one out. Again, a this. Not a send. This is. This is why knowing lineups or knowing when to not play lineups is crucial knowledge. He could have used one of his snake bites literally while going back. Or even just stay in showers and bounce the snake bite. It is what it is. It is what it is. And by the way, I still think that CNET, the soul soul peak by CNET, was the reason why it was so the attack was so inefficient. They lost the potential of of CNET being aggressive, right? Because he was just holding a short alone, and he got demolished. So they didn't have the jet jet dash on site to create space. How do you prepare for playing this early? What, what's your morning routine before streaming? We played together once this early and I kept making bad decisions because my brain wasn't fully aware yet. Mm, I don't do anything. No I just, I just, you know, wake up and play. That's it. Stars, 
information here, but yeah, Cena is super aggressive. This is this is an eco round, so it doesn't really matter that much. He can go for heal plays, but on full by rounds, I don't know. It's it's pretty weird, man. Oh no way! What? What? Does he have? He has the dash. Cena is 26 HP. He has the dash. Look. Look at this. Look, look at this. He has 26 HP. He has the dash. No reaction to the to the bounce grenade. Right. Let's take a look. Jet is here. Does he dash? He doesn't dash. I don't get it. Two rounds in a row, Cena just dies to a grenade. Jade just dies. Where? Where, where did he die? Showers? Man, the bit rate is so shit. I think it was Showers. Oh, ultimate. Ultimate from Keelys. This is very nice. Because they got the post plant. Now they just have to hold this. Dude, I swear. Can we get higher bitrate on those videos? Like, I cannot see where is the ultimate. Like, what's the range of the ultimate? Bone cold with the kill. Cold Amenta with the kill. So one guy dies on A Haven. And the other dies in lamps. Rhyme dies on lamps here. This is the death. This is the death. Because he's in the ultimate. So he has like... I don't know how much HP, but... Why not just watch Twitch VOD? Because it's even worse. Oof. I mean, they just pummel them, you know? They just pummel them. That was no, that was no super insane tactics here. It was just pummel them, go take side with uh, with Kili's ult. But it's an important win round, uh, round win, because they played with two rifles and that's it. Will you also vote a view Guild versus Lions? Yes, I will. G2esports.com slash shop. Oh, Cena gets his revenge. <laughs> did, did he hear the grenade being thrown? Wait. Nah, he just peeks. Oh my god, dude. Just good timing from Cena. This is the signature play of a jet player, right? He he smokes the side, dash into the sm into the smokes, and he he creates space for his team to enter. This is like something that when you play solo queue, you should be doing. Eco Cobra. But this is like you know, this is eco half by, I guess. Call them into farming for his ultimate, which is very important because now they can actually use this either for post plant or for first blood. Dash is sideways, so he dash gets info in the venom scenes. Yeah, I mean the dash sideways is something that many people should do, but not many people not many people do. When you play solo queue, all the jets are just like, like this, you know, instead of going sideways. One of my small hills to die on. Now the money is back in. 
it's very important to get as much info as possible and you can clear like half of his site with a fucking dash which is insanely powerful all right what is this split a no control of of b here oh Wait, did he just go for that without... He just went blind for it. Interesting. Uh, I guess he wanted to clear the space for shower push. Shower push. So that was for map control, not for killing, unless he got super lucky. But he, they got the plant very early on. So this is... This, this is actually... Let, let, me, let me explain what happened here. This is actually very good from uh, um from coldamenta because they have they need to push through showers they need to get aggressive control they have the wall here so there's one player that will be might be holding this might be holding this right they don't have to worry about this now coldamenta will clear this area probably with a recon arrow later on but first he ults the showers so they can get aggressive control of showers and they they can push through a short and make sure that those guys have a good um, good positioning for the plant. See? Now he creates space. So the shower shower can push. But they had to destroy the, the wall from uh, Sage first, right? Then they go for the Seekers, the slow slows them down. But the combination of the ult from Sova and then the seekers allows them to take control of sight and look the seekers are just so far away and not a single seeker went lamps this is why they can just push on sight here and get the plant and since since nip pushed here and they didn't meet anyone with three people the guys on a side they cannot fight they have to play retake Okay, now it's 5v5 post plant. And this, this is the moment where Achilles should probably fuck off. Put a toxic cloud on this, go for a lineup, and, and just wait. Let the other people control the map. But he's actually holding sight. Oh, he's actually okay. So he he's not playing for lineups. He's just using the snake bite from here, which is also good because he stands bef behind the smoke. But Cena just dies while standing on a on a uh, on on the box here. Oh, 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 bro, oh, bro. I think you're dead. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a good retake, man. It's just like... It's just brute force, you know? It's good usage of utility from NIP for the retake. Very good. They just force them out. Is there any option in the paint tool that you're using to zoom on, on a specific part of the screen, such as the minimap? Uh, I mean, I can just zoom in in my OBS, but it just the quality of it's so bad, it doesn't really do anything. I don't know. I I thought I think I don't agree with Hypok here. I think they needed uh I needed Achilles actually on that A short to to use his snake bite. He used the snake bite, right? And fight. Rhyme got the old cause he killed Cena, I think. Well then pfft. I mean Cena again dies first. I don't think there was a reason for him even to stand in that position on the box here because he's so exposed. And he has no trades lined up because everyone else is smoked, so I don't know. 
I'm not certain that I like this kind of plays where CNET just goes for the ego peaks, you know, and tries to get kills. Because if he fails to get kills, he he is not set up for trades. And there's there's a lot of situations like that. But he's so good, right? CNET is just so good that most of the time he will get a kill and he just gets away with a murder. There's only one wall that they use for attacking. This one here. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Did he have his knives out? He did, and he didn't use them. What? What? Why? Why seen it? I'm not sure I understand that. Yeah. He can't find the time or the space. It is too late. Yeah, he didn't have his knives out. I, but I'm questioning why, right? He's playing an operator. He wants to go on site. He did they didn't clear anything. And he goes in with an operator there. So he's not prepared to fight when he had his knives out and he has cash for the next round. So there's no reason to not play the knives when he has the operator out. Right? Because the thing is you want to have a good pistol when you play Operator, so you have also something for a close-range fight. But Jet has knives, so you want to play knives instead of, a instead of a pistol. So he can go, just go in and get those... Go, uh, go, goes on, go on side and have that prepared. He did have knives. Look. Look. He is prepared to use the knives. He has his ultimate. He has an Operator. But yet... He commits to the site without using his knives. Look. He's using an operator. Clears apparently lazy here. And then just goes in with the jump and dash. And he has his operator in the hands. So that was very sloppy. Now they play default. Three defenders on A, two defenders on B. The same setup, by the way, something that we've seen before. I like this. I like this setup. As I say, explained before, they they can double double down on hookah if needed, and they can double down on site if needed because of the wall here. This is a good setup for two, two players here. They are committing to a fight, but they have a good crossfire to help each other out. I don't know what the updraft was for. I think maybe for some info. No, no, no. It's CNET's plan. Here, guys. CNET's plan. Uh, let me explain it again. CNET's plan here was to jump to updraft and dash towards here. So he can stand. He can stand here in this spot. Have his operator out. Right? Have his operator out. And he's just looking at CT or backside. But since he didn't have his knives out, he couldn't do that. Look, updrafting here, that's the plan. He's prepared to dash forward, but he sees this guy and he's like, uh oh, so I have to dash backwards. So the 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 thing is Ascent cannot really attack anywhere without clearing the Sage Wolf first. This is why Bonkold has to destroy it because now it opens up some alleys. So uh NIP is not certain of where the where the opponent can go through. Seen it again on A short. This time has backup. But Cold Amenta just goes through the smoke. What? 
Did he use any utility before? Very slow, very progressive, right down to the wire. He ha look, look, he, he has a recon arrow, so he used it on long, right, first. He has his drone. The smoke is still not popped here. Wait. I don't think he even goes through a smoke. He just goes in. Yeah, look at this. He just goes in, walks in as Sova. And just dies to this setup. This wasn't even used. He just walks in, checks left, dies from the right. That's ballsy. I don't, I'm not sure what to think about this. Because they didn't clear anything and still had the, the drone. Oh, wait. Why, why he has a zero drone right now and one shock dart? What happened? Where did he use it? What? He has one drone here. Very slow, very progressive, right down to the wire. And it's a scrappy attempt. And now it's zero, but he didn't use it? Maybe he didn't have it? What? The, the HUD is just wrong, I guess. So he couldn't use the drone even. So he just dry peeked because he doesn't have a drone, I guess. I don't know. That was really weird. Kind of hard to say. Oh wait, this is not this. Oh my god, this is not this Sova. Never mind. This is called a mentor. I'm stupid. So he has the drone. He has the drone. This is why I was confused. Doesn't change anything. Still the same discussion I had before. He had the drone. He wanted to, to lurk on side before checking anything, basically, by the team. Kinda odd. You're getting punished for stuff like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, dude. Bone cold with the big balls. Three versus three. Uh, Keely's still playing. Keely's playing from here, so he just waits for the. He heard the teleport, right? So he's just holding this. Let's see what he does. He knows that no one exited here. So now he has info. One guy in CT. They don't know about the second one. They went too long, so they play post lineups. At least I think so. Achilles has to survive. Oh my god. Without him, this post plant is being ruined. But fortunately, Cenet gets a kill. Okay, rhyme of the big kill. He has double satchels, nothing else. Kiris is going for the font and oh no. Oh no. Okay. I, I don't I don't know what's happening yet in this round, but I can already tell you that this lineup here is fucked. This lineup here is something that you should never use. The travel time for this uh, plant is so long. It's insane. And then you have to run with your knife out so far to get the, the, the line of vision. So this is absolutely terrible position to play post lineups. This is why it's so important to have more lineups than just one spot. You know? I feel like, like this round, I understand why he was holding the teleport. But... I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Look at this. He's just standing here. And now this guy will just get a half bomb before even, like, anything happens. Look. He has to yet set up his, uh, his lineup. See? And this... The defuse... They're gonna have half defuse before this even lands. Oh... Yeah, it's 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 that. It, it, they already lost, and there's no. To wait, is there a toxic cloud? Oh, Ryan. He 
look, 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 there's no toxic cloud on the bomb. So this, this, this play should ha never had happened. This play should never have happened because he doesn't have toxic cloud on the bomb. The only way of playing this round is for Kiris to either push into hookah or push long. He cannot play from here when he doesn't have a toxic cloud. Like, this doesn't do anything. Yeah. They made a mistake, though. They made a mistake. Which I think was very, very big and actually gave Killers out. Look, I don't understand why two people are standing here. Look, look at this shit. This is actually pretty sad. Here and here. I don't understand why two people are standing here. There's absolutely no reason for them to stand like this because they know that Killers plays for the lineup, right? So this area is all affected so they both get damaged and debuffed i don't really understand this like this guy is holding hookah but he should just stand here or even like here not here like this makes no sense because he's getting pushed out anyway see see this so he's being affected he's being affected and now they're both damaged and both debuffed which allows to get Kiris one kill, if I'm not mistaken. Because he's, they're being killed by debuffed. He's getting... Wait, wait, wait. He has 100... Uh, 103 HP. So he dies from two bullets from a Vandal. They're both debuffed still. And he gets killed. Look. See? And they are still debuffed both. I think that's a big mistake. This guy can hold both hookah and long where he's standing. But it's a terrible position. Because you're not going to hold it. Look. Guys. You, you, there's no excuse for this. There's absolutely no excuse for this. It doesn't matter if you can hold two, two lines here. Because look. If you're holding this. You're not, you're not going to stand here. Like anyway. You're not able to. The snake bite lands before anyone will peek. So you're basically useless here. It, they, look, guys. Kilis is known for playing the this lineup from Fonten, right? So this just goes in. And this, in my opinion, is a terrible position to uh to to hold this. Like if if he wanted to to hold this. He can still hold, like, from even, like, standing here. Here, here, here. And it doesn't matter, like, the, the, li the line of sight here is not good for Achilles. It's not great for Achilles. And he gets the half. I just think this is a mistake of holding this angle here. And he was debuffed when he died. Yes, the debuff actually mattered. I think this is the only way of Kiris actually winning the round because of that position. Why does Kiris run so far back? It's halved. I don't know, man. All they, all they needed to do was survive on long. All they needed I mean, to do. Tell Ryan, tell Ryan that. Tell Ryan to just let him survive on long. He's just buried in there. Probably didn't think half. Ah, uh, yo, no, no, no. He sees it even. He sees it and he hears it. So there's no excuse for that. But I just think the lineup from Fonten is ultra bad. They just push on A against four defenders now. Oh. 
Two Astro Wolves, by the way. Yeah. That's just... Look. They just push with the second Astro Wall to counter the first Astro Wall. <laughs> it's so funny. Look. Um, first, we're gonna see Bonkold. This is Bonkold's ult to allow them to plant here, right? But then, the second wall... The second wall will cut off the site. Wait, where is it? Here. It's a very good wall by Astra. Look. So one wall here allows the attackers to plant over here. And, and Korea goes with the counter wall that goes through here so people can't hold from showers. It's a very good counter wall for the Astra. Right? Because they are stuck in this small triangle. And... Uh, where's where's Rhyme? Look at Rhyme. This is the ultra setup for him. They know that they want to plant in this spot. There's no other spot they can plant because everything else is under control, right? So he can just go with the showstopper and he cannot be stopped because he just goes through the wall. No one knows he's coming. So he just goes with the showstopper and gets one, two, maybe even three kills. Look. Like, this is nuts. Look at this shit. Three people in this small triangle here, right? And then seen it in his typical position on the box here or the box here. So now Rhyme just goes in, bops the showstopper, and gets easy kills. Scary. There's the plant. Someone will give that info? Probably not. But he's just still gonna go for it. Still goes for it. They hear a muffled sound of the satchels, but probably not even hear it in all of this chaos, so they don't know what's happening. Ah, no, 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 they hear it, they hear it. Someone calls it out. Someone calls it out that the showstopper is coming, right? Maybe even, like, saw it in the HUD uh, that it pops off, because you don't have to hear it. You can just, if you're aware, you're gonna see that it that the change the change of the color of the race, uh, race uh, ultimate. So they have to abandon the plant, because they know the showstopper is coming. But the showstopper is coming, and because of this astro wall here, you're dead. Look, he just goes in, he sees two people. Like, the perfect spot to ult will be here, so he gets double kill, but it's so hard, he doesn't have, like... He has less than probably 150 milliseconds to react and readjust, and he's flying. So he just goes for anything that works. And he just goes for a kill on stock, so... Where is this? Nice. He gets the kill on stock, so... Akukos pushed from Lamps and gets a kill on Coldamenta, which is insane. So he pushed the Astro Wall of Korea. Very good decision. Because they push like so they push together. Rhyme is on site. Now this is pure chaos. You cannot analyze this. This is already pure chaos. Because there's they just pushed. And now it's five versus three. And they just need to double down. And the wall from first Astra just went down. Yeah. And that's it. I, I feel like... I feel like for Ascent, Astra for this lineup is worse than Brimstone because of the lack of the Molotov. And the lack of race. They played with this exact lineup. Uh, they they played with this exact lineup, but without without the Astra and with the Brimstone instead. And now without the Brimstone, I feel like they don't have enough utility um, to help play the post lineups because they needed the Brimstone Molly, and they don't have rays for the Showstopper and the Grenade. So they literally want to play the the. Brute forcey post lineup lineup, but without the utility. I don't like this. I don't. I really don't like this lineup. To be honest.